have pictures of my first rights naming ceremony. Pictures and a grainy video. I was seven weeks old and my mama, making most of it up as she went along, called to Baba Ali. Baba was an original Oakland Black Panther, an elder in the community. She called drummers and dancers and artists and friends together, and they sang and stomped and called my name to the ancestors, raining blessings and responsibility down on my damp, throbbing head. Once when I was seven years, once when I was 14 years, and again when I am 21 years. I studied myself and my potential and stood in front of my village and spoke of these things. Hints of Mama Africa dancing at the corners of my eyes. What manner of man I aspire to become. I surrendered myself to the service of my family, my friends, and my village. And each of these enunciations shaped me and will shape me. Each rite of passage is a promise that resonates with me, reminding me of myself and the empire that I am to build with bricks of perseverance and the mortar of diligence. I speak myself into being. I have always had two fathers, a blessing I did nothing to earn. I don't remember life without both of them, and so I can't really appreciate them as I should. My oba taught me subtlety, to speak when it is appropriate. It is better to remain silent and be thought stupid than to open your mouth and remove all doubt, he said. An empty wagon makes the most noise, he said. I am not an empty wagon, and so I step with a force that is necessary, no more, no less. My biological father is never late, ever. He speaks his life into being with admirably practiced ease. He taught me the cosmic tenors of jazz, that we are distinctions of the world, that I am no thing and can do anything, but not everything. Life is choice. I remember the first time I tied my own tie. It was for a respectable Negro affair. My oba loaned me a particularly nice tie of his, ornately red in my favorite shade. He showed me then twice slowly, guiding my hands. I picked it up and practiced tying it around my leg, sloppily at first, then gradually less lopsided. It seemed such a simple thing, and yet it required my uncompromised attention in its entirety. I cannot forget how to do it now. I was proud of learning such a simple thing. Just as I learned to tie the knot, I learned from my fathers to tie integrity in my life. I have spoken it now into my blood, and as much as I might want to run from it, it follows me. One loop over for the passage our ancestors made. Take it behind for all the dreams deferred, up, over, and through, for how we triumph. The lessons I've learned, my rites of passage, will follow me far beyond the day when I look my own child in the eye and tell him, do not compromise on your integrity, tie knots that hold, and ask, what manner of man am I?